Hello people, welcome back to the channel Crush GG, where today we're going to be adding some more to the TV and Movie Mass Multiverse web. Uh, this was going to, well, it started out as another, you know, fictional company type thing. Or I connected everything, but I just kind of kept branching off. So, we're going to go down here. Right now I moved all the Murder She Wrote stuff and what, what is that? Magnum PI down here because it's going to be connecting to around here. This is loud. I'm just going to make sure that this is I think that's fine. Sorry. <clears throat> We're gonna start on Heroes because, well, this is the one of the things, at least one of the shows or movies that I already have on here that has the fictional newspaper, the New York Chronicle, on it. So I'm going to connect that to the first place it ever showed up, which is a movie called The Thin Man from 1934. Here. Alright. I need to zoom in more. I was expecting with a title like that for it to be a horror movie, but it didn't look like that from the picture I got. Zoom this over this way a bit. Uh, so it started here, so it goes this way. As far as I could find, if anybody knows uh, an earlier point for the that the New York Chronicle showed up, let me know. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit. Go up here. Grab these, bring it down, come on, uh, I have to reorganize this, gonna bring this around underneath. Down here, and this here, okay, all right, so it goes this way. That Magnum PI go up here. Come Ok, 
Okay. Bring this here. Here, there. Oh, what am I doing? Fix that. Bring it down. Oh, perfect. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's get back. Into here, uh, the thin man would also connect to the Patty Duke show because the Patty Duke show takes place in the offices of the fictional newspaper, the New York Chronicle. What am I doing? I just... I'm an idiot. I'm gonna delete that. Nineteen sixty-three. Okay, and the Patty Duke show connects to this show from 1960, The Roaring Twenties, because the New York record from The Roaring Twenties served as a rival paper to the New York Chronicle in The Patty Duke Show. Right? We'll go back up to the Thin Man for a few, a couple more connections through the New York Chronicle. One will be the Adventures of Hiram Holiday, I think, from 
Yep. Now, go ahead this way. And then, this show called Bronco. 1958. And actually, probably a bit more space. Okay, now off of Bronco is this show, which I should have looked up how to pronounce. I'm not even going to try, <laughs> uh, because Bronco is a spin-off of this show from 1955. And then this show also had another spin-off called Com The Dakotas. Nineteen sixty-three. Wow, this one was a bit after that one started anyways. Here. Hey, come on. Go where you're supposed to. That's not at all what I was trying to do. There. Anyways. This show also had a crossover, yeah, with the show called Maverick, 1957, Brett Maverick, I assume is the main character, uh, appeared in the episode The Last Train West of, well, that, this show. Okay, right, he showed up on this show. Eh. Why? Why are you gotta be so difficult? Go. There. Alright. Maverick had a few spin off spin offs on its own. To start with the made for TV movie The New Maverick. Nineteen seventy eight.
The next one after that is Young Maverick. Nineteen seventy nine. This show, I believe, follows like a young or a younger uh, relative of the main character from this, from the regular Maverick. Whatever, that's fine. And then a spin-off of Maverick called Brett Maverick 1981. <laughs> I'll bring it over here. There's one more connection to Maverick, that being with the show Lawman, 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 whatever. Dan Troop from Lawman uh, appeared in the Maverick episode Harley's Hunters. Har Har what? Not Harley. It's supposed to be Hadley's. Hadley's Hunters. Stupid autocorrect. This way. <clears throat> Law Man, nineteen fifty eight. No, it was this way. There we go. Then Lawman. Lawman? Probably Lawman. Whatever. Had a crossover with... Actually, a couple of things. Kind of. Uh, Dan Troop appears in... The Fall Guy in the episode uh, King of the Cowboys. And that same fall, The Fall Guy episode had a few other characters showing up from different shows. One being Yancey Derringer, I think, uh, from the show of the same name. Um, 
again, same episode, uh, had Nick Barkley from The Big Valley showing up in that episode from And then lastly, not being in that uh, part of that episode. Lastly, with Fall, the Fall Guy anyways, is a crossover with Trauma Center from 1983. The only... Uh, <laughs> the only information I really got for this was the Fall Guy gets injured and sent to the title location of Trauma Center. It's from the Fall Guy, the episode, uh, Trauma, I believe. Well, for some reason, I didn't write that down. Three. that location on this show. And now, back to Maverick. <laughs> because Maverick has another crossover with from the episode Headley's Hunters. Uh, a crossover with the show Sugarfoot from 1957, Tom Brewster made an appearance in Headley's Hunters. Oh, I just realized, Tom Brewster. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring it down here. Nineteen fifty seven. Oh, no, I uh, that wrong. There, I'm also going to move this here. Man, there that works. Then, lastly, for this video, a crossover with Sugarfoot uh, and Christopher Colt from Colt 245. I don't know if there's a specific way of saying that, whatever. Uh, appeared in six ep six episodes of Sugarfoot. Wow. From what I could find, it wasn't actually it wasn't a spinoff. So he must have showed up after his show. Otherwise, it would be considered a spinoff. Nineteen. I'm doing this wrong again. Get out of here. Yeah. 
there we go. And that will be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go and leave a like on the video. If you didn't, there's another button for that. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, be notified whenever I upload. If you think I added something I shouldn't have, or if I missed anything you think I should have added, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate the help. But until next time, hope you have a nice day. Bye.